Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fale and I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for August 23rd, 2016. So, I hope you're sailing well through this rough waters of Saturn conjunct Mars. This is like a pressure cooker and it's going to go away in a few days, but it's still here. And we're all swimming in this soup, so I hope you're doing, you're doing fine. If you want to, then I can refer you to the video I made in January, special forecast for 2016. And I'm talking uh, at length about these transits at that video, in that video. So let's go back for, to today. We have the Moon in Taurus, conjunct series in the morning. Very pleasant time. It's a time to be nurtured and nurture. It's a time to plug ourselves into the uh, charger in a sense and we could have a pleasant morning in Europe and it will be still in your sleeping bedtime uh, United States. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is uh, the Queen Kongs between the Moon to Mars Saturn at around 1400 hours Central European time. That's around 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's a time that we could really have a short fuse. We can get into unnecessary conflicts and confrontations. So just watch that. But other than that, the rest of the day, so a few hours before and a few hours later, of course, transits are felt. But from a few hours later, the, the sky clears up again. We could have a beautiful time with a sextile to Neptune and Vista, and then even later than that, beautiful uh, angles to the nodes, from the Moon to the nodes, and then a trine to Pluto. Very powerful, uh, profound time in which we can feel that we've been, that we are over something, and that we're selling ahead nicely. And just remember that this intense time will be over in a few days. It would, it would lighten up and that we're all swimming in this soup together. So, you know, I want to I wanna bring up this very uh, known story about the Native American grandfather sitting with his grandchild, telling him that we all have two wolves fighting inside of us all day long, a bad wolf and a good wolf. And the grandchild asks his grandfather, well, grandfather, at the end of the day, which wolf wins. So the grandfather looks down at him and says, it's very simple, the wolf that you feed. And in these days, we really have to be mindful of that and not to feed our negative wolf, not to feed negativity, not to feed our anxieties, not to feed our anger, not to feed our fears. And really distance ourselves from our feelings a little bit and use our higher logic to handle things and to know the best way out of constrictive situations. So, thank you everybody for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow. This is Blood's Father. Goodbye.